So you're a University of Sheffield academic, you're full of great ideas. How do you make money out of them? There are many ways to do that, but the first way is to engage with our commercialization team to see whether a spin-out company, a license, or a patent is the way forward. Commercialization allows the university to get its research outputs into the real world through license or spin-out formation. Uh, one of the university's guiding principles is making a difference and this does allow us to do that. Uh, there's a benefit to the person taking access to the technology as they're accessing the university research outputs. Uh, there's benefits to the university and to the individual researchers as it allows us to gain public benefit, it gives good impact stories, it allows the academic staff to interact with people outside of the university, it makes their research more relevant and there is an income generation. To find out whether a research idea could be a commercialisable prospect, we operate a simple inquiry system. An outline of your idea will then trigger a meeting with a commercialisation manager and if the idea looks promising it'll enter the commercial assessment system. We'll then go through a more thorough evaluation and support the academic to generate proof of concept data or a prototype. A good commercialisation idea is something that addresses an unmet real world need and that can span all the disciplines within the university from next generation lighting to drug discovery projects. So the idea or project has to be sufficiently developed enough to be demonstratable, i.e. it has to show advantages over the current best products in a market area. A spin-out company is essentially a vehicle which universities use to translate their intellectual property into impact. The most exciting thing for me as an academic is to see my ideas from essentially the bedside being developed as a product on the bench and then delivered to the marketplace through a spin-out company. The idea was to be able to do microscopy without lenses. In particular, to be able to do electron microscopy without lenses. Because making lenses in electron microscopes is very hard. They're not glass lenses like they are in optical microscopes. They're made out of very sophisticated and very expensive electromagnetic coils, and they're just not very good. I saw it was going to have huge applications in electron imaging, in x-ray imaging, and in fact it's turned out that it has huge implications in normal optical imaging, even though normal light microscopes have very good lenses. The question was how, we, how are we going to take this forward? So we could approach manufacturers and attempt to get a licensing deal, or we could simply sell the patent outright so we decided the way to actually get value out of this idea was to form a spin-out company. Uh, as we've gone on, we've been able to buy another four patents from the university uh, from the work that's been done in John's group. So it's not just the, uh, the one-time benefit when you start, it's an ongoing collaborative relationship we have that, that benefits us time and time and time again.